want you to know is you are not too much. You're not too much for God to handle. And what that means is those times or those moments where you feel pressure to tone it down, to scale it back, to shrink in, you don't have to, right? Because there is someone that can handle that. And that's the person that created you, right? And so this affirmation, I am not too much for God to handle is a powerful one. And we're going to break it down today. get started with today's weekly affirmation breakdown. For those that are new, my name is Jaylot Williams. I am a therapist and faith coach, and I am the founder of The Liveverse, whose mission is to help imperfect Christians like you and me keep our relationship with God simple, healthy, and authentic so you don't have to feel like you're going through life alone. And today's affirmation that we are going to talk about is I am not too much for God to handle. I'm not too much for God to handle. Before we start, I want us to do our, you know, usual one word check in of how our week is going. And so drop into the chat if your week is going good you'll put good and if your week is going bad, you'll put bad. And the whole purpose of it is just a way to let go of the weight of the week. And so if your week is going good, we'll celebrate with you. And if your week is not going so well, we'll hold some space for you. You know, I didn't even take a chance or a moment to like stop and ask myself how the week is going for me. So I'll also answer this as well and see I don't know. The week feels long. I think that's the word I'm going to go with is long. It feels like it's kind of, it's been a good week, but I feel like I'm in like a, I don't even know how to explain it, but I'm sure y'all understand. Oh, good. I'm glad your week is going great, Tasha. That is good to hear. That's really good. Awesome. So I'm not too much for God to handle. Who is this affirmation for. This affirmation is for people who have ever felt too much, too intense, too sensitive, a lot, too whatever. I'm sure you could think of the word that either you say to yourself or someone has said to you before that they told you too X, Y, Z, right? That comes into your mind that makes you feel like you're um, a lot, right? Like you're a lot to handle, that you can't be accepted or no one, you can't fit, right? Like you're not you're too much to fit into someone's box or maybe this own box that you want to put yourself in. And maybe you were told that by an ex, by your friend, or like I said earlier, like yourself. Um, but what I want you to know is you are not too much. You're not too much for God to handle. And what that means is those times or those moments where you feel pressure to tone it down, to scale it back, to shrink in, you don't have to right? Because there is someone that can handle that. And that's the person that created you, right? And so this affirmation, I am not too much for God to handle is a powerful one. And we're going to break it down today. So what is the problem with believing that you're too much? First off, you dim the light that God said, that, has, that God has placed inside of us that he said we should shine for all the world to see. And so when you believe that you're too much, you tend to scale things back. You tend to hide parts of yourselves for fear or shame of feeling like you're too much, right? And so it's not one, that's not what God has called us to do, right? He has very distinct, as in the Bible, distinct order for us to you know shine our light for all the world to see. And so you begin to shrink yourself back in all these little ways. And oftentimes it's not like in these very overt ways. It's very, it's, it's little, it's these small little ways that build up over time until you're suffocating the person that God has created you to be until you can no longer see that person that you once were, that you once knew. And you're now maintaining this image for the sake of approval for others. Right. And so you're not being the person God created you to be. You're being this image of what the world wants you to be or what your social circle wants you to be or what you think you should be in order to fit in with this group or that group or that trend you know and so when you lose sight of the you that you actually enjoy being or the you that god has created you to be you're not living your best life and we talked a lot about that last um affirmation. And so if you haven't seen that, that affirmation breakdown, I highly recommend you go back and check it out. And so when you lose sight of the you that God created you to be and become this, uh, fake, not fake, I should say, 
how can I put it? You become not the version that God wants you to be, because I can't think of another way to say it. That's not God's best, right? And that's no, also not what God wants for you. So there's this verse in 1 John 4, 19 that says, we love because he first loved us. One of my absolute favorite verses, because when you understand what is being said in that verse, it frees you from so many things. And number one, number one thing being validation. And so I'll tell you how it relates to this verse in just a second. So we love because he first loved us. And again, that is first John. And so we already have all of the approval we need to love ourselves the way we are. And it's because our ability to love ourselves doesn't come from others, right? It doesn't even come from the standards that we think we need to achieve or the standards that we set for ourselves in order to be worthy of love. Our ability to love comes from the love that God demonstrated for us when he loved us exactly how he created us to be and so in those moments when you're like gosh I, i'm too much am i even worthy of showing all of who i am to other people because they can't handle it this verse says i can love myself because god loved me first i don't even need to love myself first because god already did that right and so when you if you're stuck into that thing of i need to achieve this or i need to be in this growth space spot or I need to have reached this level of self-work before I can love myself. God is saying, no, I loved you when you were being formed in your mother's womb before you even hit any of the, the physical milestones that you go through while growing up, right? I loved you then and I love you now and so can you. We love because he first loved us, right? And so that is the power of this affirmation to be able to say, I'm not too much for God to handle. I can love myself because I'm not too much for God to handle. I mean, that when I think about that, I was about to move on, but I just had to sit with that for a second. Like that is that is so freeing. I remember seasons of my life where I felt like I would just not even that I was too much that I would never measure up, right? That I would never attain this level of being enough for someone, whether it was I went past what they wanted, past the limit of what they wanted, or I didn't reach the limit of what they wanted. And to say to myself, or to get to a space in my life when I was able to say, wait, I can love myself as I am because God loves me that way. And to follow in his footsteps of learning how to love myself God's way, right? Not the world's way, not my ex-boyfriend's way, right? None of that, but God's way. So that whenever I fall into that trap of feeling that way again, I can go back to this affirmation. I can go back to the statement of God loves me as I am. And if I'm not too much for him, or if he says that I am enough as I am, then I can love me in this state too, even if I don't feel the best about this state, or even if I feel like I, I need some more work to be done. Super freeing. So if you are in a place where you've been struggling with feeling like you're too much, I want you to just go ahead and throw into the chat that God says, I am enough. Just type into the chat, I am enough. And let me find my place in my notes here while you do that. Okay, so let's talk about how believing you're not too much for God helps your mental health. Because you know what we're all about here is not just about, you know, um, reading the Bible, but it's about making sure that we, we, we use the Bible in practical ways. You are enough. You are enough. I'm loving seeing that in the chat. So this affirmation is a healthy mindset shift because when you believe you're not too, too much for God, you're able to be honest with God. And if you've seen any of my previous affirmation breakdowns, you know I talk about all the time the power of being honest and why it's so important that we're able to be honest with God. And you know, I said earlier, the number one thing that happens when we shrink ourselves down or when we believe that we're too much is that we shrink ourselves down. And when we shrink ourselves down, we begin to hide all these things that are bothering us, right? We begin to just keep inside all the things that are just um, wanting to come out, all these parts of ourselves that we're suffocating, right? It just begins to build up inside of us and it's going to come out in other ways right so that's that's the number one thing i want you to know is when you hide parts of yourselves you're not really hiding it just looks like something different in another area of your life um 
And so an example is I can't talk about how I'm really feeling because they can't handle it, right? So you shut that feeling on the inside, but then you go home and you get angry at the dog for some reason, right? And so you, we really want to be careful of shrinking ourselves back because of that reason. We don't know the ways in which it will show up in our lives. And so when you keep it all in, it hurts us. And another thing, so let me take a step back because I was actually having this conversation with a friend the other day um, where we were talking about this idea of not realizing when you need to process something. And I think that this is not, I think I know because a lot of my clients, you know, this is a lot of stuff that we work through. But this idea of not being able to realize like, oh, I've been holding this in and I didn't know I had all this stuff that I've been wanting to process. And you get to this level of not being able to realize that you need to process when you've been so used to or so trained to hold things in, to shrink yourself back because you're so used to holding on to that belief of I'm not enough. And so I want to talk about signs in which you can learn to recognize, oh, I'm not operating um, at this love at the level of my freest self because here's a sign. Number one sign: you begin the self care things that you used to do. You don't want to do them anymore. So, for example, if you're someone who really enjoys prayer and that's your spiritual self care, you like talking to God. God's your best friend. That's your homie. That's your jam. And you just don't feel like praying anymore. Like that, it just feels like a lot of work to do right so or maybe self-care for you is man i like to take my bubble bath but i just i don't even feel like running the water like i don't even i can't even get myself to do it so these things of these habits that i use to maintain myself these habits that make me feel good about who i am i can no longer do i no longer feel like doing it is the number one sign that mm, you might have something you, you need to process that's blocking you or stopping you from being able to do this thing um and so to put it succinctly, when you're overwhelmed, it makes it hard to connect with God. It makes it hard to connect with yourself. And so how do you process overwhelm? The first thing you can ask yourself is, what am I actually feeling, right? So overwhelmed is, is a feeling, but there's a feeling under overwhelm. What's, what's going on there? And then the key is to be honest. Lord, I am struggling right now. I'm really lost and I feel like I can't go on to be able to voice that, right? So one, to acknowledge, so whether you acknowledge in your head or you write it down, but then to say it out loud, whoa, I am really lost right now. There is so much power in being able to voice what's going on in your head um, and then take a moment to say it out loud. So I want to share a quick Bible story that's proof of this concept. And so in 1 Kings 19.19, 19, we're going to look at the story of Elijah. And I'm, I'm going to summarize it because this is supposed to be chill. It's not, not going to be a Bible study. Um, but Elijah is one of my favorite Bible characters. And he is a prophet. And in this, uh, in 1 Kings 19.19, 19, we meet Elijah in a space of turmoil. So he's in the middle of praying to God and he says to God, Lord, I can't do this anymore. I want to die. Can you imagine being that honest in prayer with God? I mean, goals, right? To be able to say, I'm struggling to this extent and I need your help. That is the power of, of realizing and believing I'm not too much for God to handle because you're able to say, this is all I have, Lord, and I'm about to dump it all on you, right? Because I know you can handle it. I know you're not afraid of my stuff. I know you're not gonna turn away and leave me here to deal with it on my own. And so if you are my God, right? If you are my provider, then of course I'm gonna share this with you. And I believe Elijah understood that concept. And I believe that's why he was able to say this to God. And so, oh yes, I do want to say this here. I also believe that Elijah was able to separate the fact that his struggles were too much, right? From the fact of this is who I am. 
right? And I, I really want you to catch me here. Like he was able to stop his struggles from becoming his identity, right? And that is the power of being honest. That is the power of believing I'm not too much for God to handle. Just because my situation feels too much right now, just because this person made me feel like I'm too much right now, I actually, my identity, who God created me to be, who God says I am, is not too much. And being able to separate those two things by bringing it to God, by voicing it and being honest with God. And you know, God didn't respond to Elijah by saying, why would you think that? Why would you say something like that? How dare you when I created you? How dare you when, you, when I gave you life? That is not how God responded because that is not the God we serve, right? We love because he first loved us. And so God lovingly said, Elijah says, I feel like I want to quit. God said, here, have something to eat. Get some nourishment into your body. Elijah said, I feel like giving up. God said, you know what? Just take a nap. We can come back to this conversation later. Here, lie under the shade of this tree that I created just for you. Elijah said, I'm feeling all alone. There's no one else here with me. God said, you want support? I got 7,000 other people that I've been saving just for you, getting ready to meet you. When you're struggling and you feel like you're too much and you feel like I don't know what to do, you can go to God and you can share how you're feeling with God and give God the opportunity to show you that he is the I am that I am. He is your provider. He is your peace. He is your comfort. And when the world says that, you are too much. God says, let me show you that I am enough, right? That you are not too much, okay? And so I want you to know that God wants you to be honest with him. All right, so we're gonna do a real quick affirmation exercise. And for those that are new, we do this every time. I, we're gonna say the affirmation and I am gonna say it first, and then we're gonna say it together. But before we do that, I want you to type into the chat that I am not too much. And I'll give you a moment to do that. Hi, Diane, welcome. So we're about to type into the chat, I am not too much. And we talked about the affirmation today that I'm not too much for God to handle. And so we're gonna type into the chat, I'm not too much. I forgot to mention, don't hit enter because we're gonna say the affirmation together. It's just a fun little exercise I like to do together that really helps us to, oh no, sorry Tasha, I forgot to say don't hit enter, but that's okay. You can, we could type it again. Um, so we're going to say the affirmation together. I'll say it first just so you can hear the affirmation being spoken over you. And then we'll take a deep breath and we'll say the affirmation together. And I know I can't see any of you, but I'm trusting that you are doing it. <laughs> In fact, I know, Tasha, this it, it has been um, a while you've been coming to these, but you know what? It's OK. All right. So the affirmation is, oh, first, let us all just take a deep breath in through our nose and out through our mouth. All right, so the affirmation is, I am not too much for God to handle. And then we're gonna take another deep breath together. And then we're gonna say the affirmation together. I am not too much for God to handle. And you're not, you are not. Don't let the world tell you that. You are not. And so I hope when that feeling creeps on you again and tries to take over your identity, you remember this very affirmation and can speak back to that feeling, speak back to that thought and speak back to that person. I hope you can say, I don't need you to approve of me. I don't need to accept this thought because the only one who needs to be able to approve of me already has, and that's God. The only one who needs me to be enough already says that I am enough because I'm not too much for God to handle. And you are not. TLV fam, you are loved so, 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 so much. And I want you to, I want to invite you to join my free community. It's a safe space off of social media because sometimes even I don't like to get on social media, but it's a place where you could just come get encouragement, you can come with all that you are. You're welcome to come with all that you are. You're encouraged to come with all that you are. And it's just a space where we can encourage each other and challenge each other and hold each other accountable for growing in our faith in simple, healthy, and authentic ways, right? And so you can join by going to the Live Verse 
dot com backslash join community and i'm dropping it into the chat right now awesome well i hope you all have a really really good rest of your week and if it gets hard i hope that you can remember that you are not too much for god to handle and that means you can be honest with god about how sucky your week is going and he will come and give you some peace and comfort i believe it to be so because he's done it for me and i believe he can do it for you all right, you're a love fam. Bye. I love being able to connect with y'all on a more personal level. I hope you see this affirmation differently now and can begin to apply it to your life in powerful ways. If you enjoyed today's episode as much as I did, spread the love by leaving a review over on Apple Podcasts or by liking this video or subscribing to the Live First channel here on YouTube. To catch the next live, make sure you follow me on Instagram at It's Delilah so you can receive some encouragement in real time. It's a space where you can come every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern time and let go of whatever the week has brought you and pick up some hope and encouragement instead. We'll break down another affirmation and share some encouragement that'll help us to refuel to finish the rest of the week out strong. I would love to see you there. Looking for more content while you wait for the next live event? Check out this video right here to help you keep encouraged until next time. As always, you are loved, TLV fam, and I hope to see you again soon. Hey!